Well, hey there. I'm Jay. Welcome to my booth. Reaper is one of my favorite DAWs that I use in my day-to-day -day life as a professional voiceover artist and audiobook narrator. So I wanted to show you some tips and tricks, things that I do to make my life a little bit easier, my workflow a little bit smoother and quicker, and just generally improve my quality of life overall. Before I dive in, if you have any questions about this or anything else voiceover related, drop me a line below or reach out on my website. I've also got coaching on my website if that's something that you're interested in. And if you think that this is helpful and you think others might as well, you can help other folks find it by clicking the buttons down below. And if you want to support it directly, you can buy me a coffee. Reaper, the ways I make my life easier are largely through setting presets. That's probably what I'm going to talk about most today. Uh, so the first is any track that you have set up in Reaper will have an FX. So I can click on this little green button here. It pulls open this window and there's all of my beautiful plugins lined up and ready to go. So as I tune these for different purposes, whether it be for different microphones that I may be using, uh, different spaces that I record in, if I'm recording in my booth versus if I'm doing something on a location that I do frequently, uh, if I'm working for a specific client on regular basis and they want specific settings or uh, audiobooks or something like that, whatever your preset needs may be, whatever settings you may be tooling out, instead of figuring out every single time, just save a preset. To do so, I've got my effects stack here all tuned in. I just right click on this little window here, go down to FX chains, save selected FX as a chain, boom, type in whatever I want to name it as, audiobook, client one, microphone B, whatever, save it. Then to bring it back up, boom, right click, FX chains, load FX chains. There are all my beautiful presets ready to go for me. It's a great way to save yourself some time instead of tooling around with stuff. You can do it once, set it and forget it, and you're good to go. The next thing that is a huge time saver are rendering presets. Pull open my render window using the hotkeys, uh, option command R, or you can alternatively go file, render, there it is. I'm not sure what it is on Windows, apologies my uh, Windows users. And then it pulls open the Reaper render window, which is a beautiful sight to behold. It's incredibly customizable. And I'll just run down really, really briefly all the different stuff that you can customize in order to save into a preset. Firstly, what you want to render. If you want to do the whole track, the whole uh, session you've got from the master mix there, you can render specific tracks, specific stems of your project. You can render both. You can render from a bunch of different places. A lot of options. Next, the bounds of your render. You can do the entire project, a specific time selection, if I only want from that second to that second, which can be helpful at times. And then specific regions or project markers. So say it's an audiobook and I've got uh, chapter one, which goes from there to there, and I set it a region, the hotkey for which is Shift R. And then chapter two goes from there to there, and then I can just go down here, label them, chapter one, chapter two. And now I've got two regions perfectly laid out. I can just go here, all project regions, and it'll render those out the way I want. Next is your directory and output settings. I can choose where I want the files to go, which is really helpful for file management. If you're working on a big project like an audiobook, or if you work with one client consistently and you want to keep all their files in one place, you can choose that. Browse directory, it'll take you to your finder windows and you can just choose whatever you want and it'll pop up and then you can choose where to send it. Next is your file naming mechanism. And this is really great because Reaper allows you to automate this. So project, then I can choose if I want to name the region specifically by clicking on wildcards, project information, go down to region. And what that does is now it'll be project, whatever project this is, and then chapter one for that file. And then chapter two for the next file, really really helpful. The next is all of your file type settings and sample rates. I can choose that here, what I want there, if I want it MP3 or WAV, it, what type of bit rate I need, I can set all of that. And then my probably favorite bit about the Reaper render window 
is this normalize limit fade post post process deal. I can normalize all of my files to a specific loudness, a specific peak level, and I can also set a fade in and fade out. The fade in and fade out is helpful because it helps to eliminate a sudden abrupt start or ceasing of sound, which is relatively subtle, but uh, if at the beginning of an audio file, all of a sudden you start hearing room tone instead of a sudden glide into it, it can just be a little jarring. So this is a helpful way to make your files just sound a little bit more professional. Now say we're doing an audiobook because those have very, very specific settings. Uh, we'll set the peak at minus three dB because that's what audiobooks like. And then for the uh, normalize two, we'll just do minus 21 dB and we'll choose that to RMS. And you'll notice I have a bunch of different options audiobooks are in RMS, root, mean, square. So I've got all my settings dialed in the way I want for this project. I click save settings and now say, this is an audiobook or I work for a client. All the preset reasons we discussed before, I go up to presets, all settings, save preset, type in whatever I want. And then the next time I want that, I don't have to go through all that rigmarole. I just go presets, all settings, and there we go. And again, that's really helpful for all of the reasons we named above. Saves me a ton of time down the line. Now, marrying those two things together, the FX, the track, you can also change the layout of your whole Reaper window here. So you may notice that mine might look a little different than yours. That's because I organize things the way I would like to have them laid out. Uh, and you can change them around. I can click on the little tab here for whatever window I want. I can drag it, put it over on the side. Whoa, change the whole setup of the thing. And uh, you can change that layout however you like, whatever works best for you, whatever windows you find yourself using frequently. And then you can save it as a project template. Now that goes for everything. The way that you design the window, your uh, FX settings, your rendering tab, all of it will be saved as a project template, which is really great if you work with uh, specific clients that have repeating projects that have specific settings over and over. And so the way to save it, file, project templates, save project as a template. I type in whatever I want. And then the next time I need to pull that template up, I can just go file down to project templates. And this is a previous one, but you'll see what I mean and why it's helpful. So you'll notice when I pull this window up, I've got a bunch of different tracks laid out. And that's because this is for an animated show where I'm voicing several characters in almost every episode. So I just have a track for each of them laid out. And that saves me so much time instead of having to create each track every time I have a project from this client. In addition to that, my render settings are still saved. The effects for each of the different characters is still saved. It's just a big time saver for me in the long run. Now there are a ton of additional presets in Reaper that are very similar to this. You can save specific actions to hotkeys and uh, the list goes on, which I encourage you to explore or if you have questions about those, let me know. As always, I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, be well. Toodles.